Now to a story out of our state legislature. Most high school seniors count on some form of financial aid for college, scholarships, or grants, even student loans. But as of July 1st, the number of state grants one student can receive will be limited. In the past, students could receive academic grants and put that with need-based grants or even a third specialty state grant to cover the cost of tuition, room, and books. Well, not anymore. Students who qualify will now receive just one state grant, the one for the most money. The Victoria's Bailey, WCBI's Victoria Bailey, that is, found out today that many students will come up short. Victoria? That's right, Andrea. I spent the day with a high school guidance counselor and talked with some seniors about the impacts the new bill will have on them. Between preparing to cross the high school graduation stage to applying to a university, gearing up to leave home has never been a walk in the park. But now, for Mississippi students, things just got a little harder. The Mississippi Financial Aid Office, Student Financial Aid, and there's different grants that they provide to students. They will not be allowed to have those grants all at the same time. They will only be allowed to have one grant. There's also an additional academic responsibility for the students. They have to keep a certain GPA and a certain number of credits, but that's going to be checked every term, and it hasn't always been that way. Brandon Blair is a Smithville senior and valedictorian for his class. It is kind of a surprise. It is very late uh, to receive news about this, and uh, the last rounds of scholarships are actually due this month. So there's not a lot of time to make up for that money. He says being able to receive only one state scholarship really puts his family in a bind. That extra $500 book fee will be something that I will <laughs> greatly miss. But um, for people like myself, uh, I'll have a twin brother that will be in school at the same time as me. So that would. And, thousand dollars that my family will be out instead of just the 500. Blair says by cutting funds to education the state is saving money but the best and the brightest may not be able to stay in school and that could hurt the state in the long run. Education in my opinion to see the state move forward to, to accomplish the goals that we want to have education is the key for that. I think we can look for uh, far back as we want to and see where education uh, being an educated people, it, it takes care of so much. It takes care of a lot of our social problems. This bill is estimated to impact roughly 2,400 students, but students will be able to stack non-state issued grants and scholarships. Senate Bill 2957 is estimated to save the state between $1 million and $2 million. Andrea? All right.